WTF? Why would they do that? The rumors have been that there's a there's a post credit scene with Doctor Doom in it. It's going to excite everybody at the end of this movie. If it is in there, why would they take it out? Let's hear from the wonder here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder World. Sounds talking down. About things See? Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And it looks like Marvel Studios might be trying to pull a fast one on us as we have some news about Doctor Doom today. Now, first and foremost, I must state that I have seen Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but no, I will not be spoiling anything about the movie in this video or any videos to come before the movie actually comes out. And if I were to talk about any spoilers of the movie, of course, I would say before and spoiler warning, so don't worry yeah. about that. However, I will say this, there was a lot of speculation about what could be going on in Wakanda Forever, and there was a lot of talk about certain really big MCU villains possibly showing up and being introduced, possibly in a post credit scene. I think you all realize who I'm talking about, Doctor Doom. And while I'm not going to say what the post credit scene is, I will say it definitely sets up a lot of things for the future that could possibly happen. However, it doesn't have to do with Doctor mm. Doom. But Marvel might actually be tricking us on that one. I've heard from insiders that Marvel Studios did indeed shoot a post credit scene for Black Panther Wakanda Forever that did involve Doctor Doom. Now, what's interesting about this is that this somewhat happens actually kind of frequently. For example, Marvel Studios actually shot multiple scenes with other members of the Illuminati for Multiverse of Madness that we never saw, like Ghost Rider. They shot a scene with Ghost Rider, it never made it to the movie, and didn't even get released in a deleted scenes clip. We don't know why things change, we don't know why things get removed, Man. but sometimes it doesn't happen. And here's the really yeah, interesting thing. We only saw one post credit scene in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Just one, whereas normally there are two. So part of me thinks that they are withholding a post credit scene from the press at the press screening at the world premiere because they don't want the Doctor Doom post credit scene leaking. They don't want it getting out there. Now, I'm not saying to expect a Doctor Doom post credit scene. In fact, I wouldn't. That's what you made me think, man. Patience here, so we're not disappointed. However, hearing that they did shoot a scene is very interesting. However, there is some news coming from some insiders over the past couple of days that state that Doctor Doom might not even be a villain of the Fantastic Four film. Now, keep in mind, mm. we have no confirmation okay. from Marvel Studios or any later. major trade outlets like Deadline or The Hollywood Reporter that Doctor Doom is coming anytime soon. The reports have mostly came from insiders, and granted, insiders can be right a lot of the time. Marvel Studios can also change their plans. However, I don't think Marvel is changing their plans. Of course, it's a possibility, but we know that Kevin Feige likes to be original, and he doesn't like to repeat things that have been done before. And we've okay. had three Fantastic Four movies that have already had Doctor Doom as a villain. Now, don't get me wrong, I'd still love to see him as the main villain of the new MCU Fantastic Four. However, Kevin Feige, like I said, typically doesn't like to repeat what's already been done. So the fact that insiders are reporting that Doctor Doom may not be the villain of the Fantastic Four movie doesn't really come as too much of a surprise. However, do not let that discourage you about possibly seeing Doctor Doom in the future relatively soon. Because yes, Doctor Doom is an iconic Fantastic Four villain, but he is also an iconic villain in Marvel Comics just in general. And let's not mm -hmm. forget that essentially God Emperor Doom is the big bad of the Secret War storyline in the comics. The storyline that we are leading up to. So it does it does make sense for Doctor Doom to be entering the MCU relatively soon, but also one of the great things about this is that hopefully Doctor Doom is going to stick around for a long time, way after Phase 6. We know that the mutants are going to come into play in Phase 6, but not in a huge way. That's not really going to happen until Phase 7. In Phase 7, the main characters of the MCU that they focus on are going to shift from the Avengers characters to characters like the mutants and the Fantastic Four, which of course would include a Doctor Doom villain. And this is great because Doctor Doom is way too big of a villain to just have for one phase. If he does yeah. show up for a post credit scene for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, if they decide to actually Thanos level another one, a second one that has him in it, then that would mean he would be in the MCU for two whole phases, phase five 
in Phase 6, hopefully all the way up till Avengers Secret Wars. This would be a lot of time, however, I still think he should remain in the MCU after Phase 6 because he is such an iconic villain. Since Marvel Studios usually does two post credit scenes and we only saw one, I do hope they are saving a second one for when the movie actually releases in theaters and they're hiding it so whatever it is doesn't get revealed or leaked too early. Because let's face it, we know that it will. That sucks then all you guys have to go see it again. Maybe it's somebody else. Again, don't go or wait for it to come out. See that. Don't get your hopes up. But maybe, if we're lucky, Marvel Studios was hiding it and maybe we'll get it. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Are you okay with Doctor Doom not being the main Fantastic Four villain for their MCU debut movie? And if you are, who would you rather have be the villain? of the Fantastic Four. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. This house is gonna go for me. If it's not in there, if the reason why is story-wise, it truly does not work. If it really doesn't work, I can understand that. But I was waiting for that. I was. I'm disappointed now because this is what everyone was saying was going to be in the film. It's going to be the post credit scene. So, now I don't know what to think. Hopefully, they're still going to use him going forward at some point. Um, he's no joke. We all know that. Uh, neither is Kang. So, I mean, hell. <laughs> There's rumors that Kang kills Ant-Man. I hope not. <sighs> Thank you for the information, Wonder. Go over to the Cosmic Wonder. Subscribe to him. Tell him Tyler and Magnus sent you. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on this news, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!